Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shatya from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And this is going to be a, a lesson on a vision that this uh, woman have. Uh, through the spirit, I perceive she either might be Judah or she might be Ephraim. You know, when trust me, when I play the video, you, you'll see why. But uh, nonetheless, this woman, she was talking about how she had a vision of the coming of Yahweh Shai. Now, granted, she's not in the truth. She's on that Jesus juice. But nonetheless, uh, many... Uh, many of the things that she was saying in this vision that she had was congruent with the scripture. And uh, this reminds me of that uh, that precept in Joel where uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says in that time he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. All right. And people will dream dreams and have visions. And the Lord just so happened to give this woman one of them. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, play it. Even though it's like a 10 minute video, I think the vision, the explanation of it, the vision is about three minutes. So I'm going to let this play, get some precepts, and then we're going to close it on out. This dream, it was so many people, like so, so many people. And I remember having a, um, you know, those women that are Muslim and they wear the covering on their head, like all the way to their neck. It's spelled H-I-J-A-B. I don't want to say the word because I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't want to disrespect the word. Um, but I know that it's considered to them a veil. And... Um, with that being said, I had that on in the dream and I was walking in the midst of so many. Side note, which lets you know that you women should be covered up. Now, granted, that's not what this lesson is about. But seeing as this was a vision, this was indeed a vision given to her by the Lord because it's congruent with the scripture. As you will see, it goes to show that you women need to be covered up. Uh, let's continue. As you, as you know what, let, let's back that up with some scripture. Uh, women adorn themselves in modest apparel. I'm going to just type in modest. I know it's in the New Testament. Yep. First Timothy 2 and 9. It says, uh, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefastness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. All right. So you women are supposed to be covered up. All right. Not having your breast hanging out. Not wearing outfits so tight that you can see a camel toe. All right. This goes to show you that the Israelite woman is supposed to be covered up. So a little side note, but. I did want to point that out because that is scriptural. Let's continue. Many people, and it was so many people going about their day, like just a regular day, so many people. I remember passing by this lady and I was talking to her about the canvas that she was painting or something like that. Then after that, I remember I saw my brother on the left side, like far away, like he was doing his thing. I remember the dream that Johnny was at work and Brianna was at school. And I was in the midst of all these people. And, and again, everybody was doing their thing, living their life like nothing. All of a sudden, I heard the angels of God singing. And they were singing. Now, mind you, I don't know how to sing, but I'm going to try to show you guys how it was. So it was a very loud, loud singing. It seemed like it was like so many angels singing. I didn't see them, but I heard them. And they were singing like this. And in the midst of them singing, I saw the heavens coming down like this. Right? And it was beautiful but yet 
scary at the same time as far as like a reverence type of fear. So I heard the angels sing like this. Uh, like that, like in one accord, nobody was off. It was something that I've never heard in my life. Like this type of singing, I've never heard it in my life. Not even, not even in the natural world. Like it was so holy. It's like they were praising God because he was coming. And in the dream, it was that God was coming soon. Like real, real soon. And then I remember, boom, God woke me up and it was 314. When I woke up, my heart was pounding. You heard that? Nice, beautiful day. Then all of a sudden, she heard the angel singing and she saw the Lord descending from heaven. So, let's get some, uh, let's get some precepts. I think that first one that she was talking about was Revelation. Mm, is it the fifth chapter? Oh yeah, it's Revelation, the fifth chapter, starting at the 11th verse. And it says, And I beheld and heard the voice of many angels. Now, as she said in this vision, she said she uh, had that she heard the voice of many angels. She didn't know how many that there were, but she knew that there had to be a lot because of what she was hearing. So it says, And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice worthy is the lamb which is Yahweh Shai that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing now as you heard her say in the vision she said they were singing in such holy reverence. They were singing like this because they were angels. But not only that, they were praising the coming of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And I'm kind of curious about this 10,000 times 10,000 thousand. So I'm going get my calculator. So she said 10,000, 1, 2, 3 times 10,000 times let's just it said thousands but let's just go with a thousand times one two three equals let's see million billion trillion so it's a possibility according to that scripture there was a hundred trillion angels singing wow There's the possibility there was a hundred trillion angels singing. Giving praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because he's Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and he's coming to deliver his people. All right. As she says, she saw him coming from heaven. So that made me think of Revelation. Uh, let me just. I believe it's in 21. Yeah, Revelation 21 and 1. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay, as that's what the woman saw. Okay, she saw the, the father ship and the many other chariots coming out of the sky. All right, to come back and re redeem the elect off the earth. This is the breakdown of that woman's vision. This is what she saw. She heard the voice of trillions of angels giving praises to Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai as he as they descended 
into the atmosphere. All right, getting ready to deliver the elect off the face of the earth. Hey, man, that's that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing, you know, which is about to soon come to fruition. You know, you looking at what's going on right now with this whole uh, the COVID nineteen boogeyman. All right, oil is dropped to negative forty. You got folks protesting around the United States. All right, folks ain't uh, folks aren't being able to work. Hey man, this this thing is on a very very short timetable. Hey, the the Lord's coming. The Lord's coming in our in our lifetime. And if you watch the uh, that video in its entirety, you know that's a point that she stresses at the end of her video she's like look here i don't care if you believe i don't care if you don't believe i really don't care if you listen to it or you don't want to listen to it the lord told me to tell you this that he is coming he is coming not in no far distant future the lord is coming right now and she stresses and emphasizes that the most important thing that you need to do right now now granted she she was going off on the name but she was like the most important thing you can do right now is have the best relationship possible with Jesus as you can now we all know his real name is Yahweh Shai is not Jesus but the message that she was sending across is uh was accurate as the scripture says and I will end it uh, on this uh, I think it's this one oh, 2 Peter 3 and and 10 it says but the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night because like her vision and many other visions that you hear of the coming of the Lord, it's always a sunny day where everybody's just going about their normal routine. And then all of a sudden, everything changes within a blink of an eye. So it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with, melt with fervent heat. The earth and also the works therein shall be burnt up. That's talking about them ICBM missiles. And this, this is verse 11. It says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what matter of person all ye ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Basically, knowing that all these bad things are going to take place, which he was emphasizing at the end of the video. Okay, what person are you ought to be in your mind? And that's what she was explaining. Okay, the most important thing, if you're in this truth, is to have the best relationship with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as you possibly can. Meaning that you honor the Lord to the best of your ability. Okay, be brotherly. Uh, give charity when you can. Pray, read, fast, and teach. You do all these things to the best of your ability until he comes. That's the most important thing that you can do and have right now because that's the only thing that's going to deliver you. Having faith and doing the things that the Lord commanded us to do. That is the most important and essential thing that we can do right now. Everything else is nothing. So... Hey, brothers, continue to stay on point, continue to pray, fast, teach, keep the faith, keep pushing, keep fighting. We almost out of here. So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.